What's up, freaks? It's Friday morning. I'm jumping in the car to go pick up Alex. He and I are going to drive out to the Guitar Magazine offices. We're going to be helping them uh, set up their future gear review uh, video setup. So, ride along. Maybe you can learn something about uh, how we would do a setup to do gear reviews, and uh, I think it's going to be fun. A uh, quick cool tip for any of you who might recognize which car this is. This is the same car that we shot the... Haken Toto's Africa video. So, haha, fun fact, it's Friday, it's Freaks TV time, let's roll. So here's what we did. The guys had already set up their, their set. You know, they brought in their own stuff. And uh, when we came, we simply pulled everything away from the wall a little bit. Uh, I think we should still pull the coffee maker away from the wall too. That when we come from this perspective, we get a little bit more depth in it. And so it doesn't feel like, yeah, they're right up against the wall, but that there's a little bit of depth. And then that makes that gives us the ability to stack the shots a little bit. So we have them, the gear, things, and then a wall, and a little bit of separation. So. So we have the setup done. Here we are. I'm sitting in the captain's chair. And we have festgestellt, that Rainer is better than I, so he will do the video. Let the bass player do the guitar review. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, so, and what we came up with is, like I said, we've moved everything forward a little bit away from the walls. We got one little backbite here to give uh, at least Marcel a little halo, a little separation. And you're getting a little bit too. Uh, we've got the two LED panels up front um, to give us front light. One for Stefan, one for Marcel. So for camera and lens department, here's what we did. We have the 5D for the wide shot. We used the 35 millimeter Wallamex Pro. Uh, and this is actually what the shot looks like. If you can come around here, you can show. You'll see it in the video. We got a nice two shot, and we pretty much left it there the whole day. And then on the B camera, which is a Canon 60D, we used the Sigma 70 to 300 so we could get a nice close up like this. So uh, we're just about set up, we're about to start shooting, and I uh, just wanted to make a point about the sound. Because this is a, a gear review, um, we've got a couple of things happening where we want to make sure that everything's recorded in a similar way so that when we A, B different things, uh, the users at home know that they're hearing basically the same signal chain. So, especially when we do a little test of this box here, this is supposed to be replicating this. So, we're going to che check it on that cabinet. Uh, as well as run through, yeah, we'll check it with this running through that cabinet and we'll play clean through this and compare the two. And to make sure that they're the same signal path, we have two Fender Telecasters, both with the Dem DiMarzio what? Fast Track. Fast Track. Uh, there's two of these. There's the other one. And naturally, both cabinets are mic'd with Shure SM57s. You can be sure of that.
right, so uh, that's it. We did it. Uh, we shot uh, the reviews for Guitar Magazine, figured out a setup, worked with the space that they had, and uh, I think it's going to turn out pretty good. We only had a few uh, funny, um, not mistakes, but we had three microphones for the guitar amps. Only one of them worked, but luckily the order of SM57s from Sure arrived today at the factory here and we were able to mic the cabs both with the SM57s and that made it that made, yeah. makes all the difference when you're comparing the two guitars or two amps or two setups and uh, yeah and the guys did good I think on camera for the first time the yeah, uh, pretty good the guitar journalists so um, yeah all in all I think we yeah. came made what we came for did what we came for mm -hmm. built built what we I don't know <laughs> we did it that's yeah. it see you next time freaks out the final word goes yeah. to him bye